Thursday night baseball now from the home of the Cardinals Bush Stadium in St. Louis tonight the second of four to begin the week between the New York Mets and the St. Louis Cardinals stay tuned for Cardinals baseball next. Miles Michaelis will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that brings up the former MVP, Keith Hernandez. He'll get tonight, us started in this one under the lights. The first Keith first Hernandez. pitch on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2-2. Two and two. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. The 2 2 one more time. Is looked at, and the count moves full. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he lays off all four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And that's just an incredible job at the plate by the leadoff man there. Not only did he make the pitch and throw a ton of pitchers and bust his tail, but he also won the battle and earned a free pass. Up next, Jeff McNeil. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Set now the pitch. Oh, and that's a fastball up there. close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1 0. Oh. oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. But he is oh. able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. Next to dig in, Joe Torre. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First delivery to him. One hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. And he takes a cold strike one. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. Yeah, Dan, we got Eric Summersgill behind the dish. Really likes to work the ball east west. What did you like? Did you like north south, east west? I, I thought east west, Dero. The more that I could get away with on the outside corner, inside corner, give oh, me a wider one. plate than a higher plate. I think it's a lot easier to pitch to a wider plate. The 2 1. What a well executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving okay. and leaning out over that thing. Full count now. Hernandez, the runner at second with one away. 
hit in the air out toward left. On the run is Brock. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? Well, Matty, the old cliche goes, battlers, grinders. I know it gets old saying that, but that's the exact description of what this lineup presents today to the opposing pitcher. They do not strike out. He is going to have to grind. He is going to have to keep the ball in the ballpark, and his defense is going to have to be on point. Robinson Cano is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up and no one will get this one. Here's the 0-2. Oh, he it went for the strikes, knockout though. pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. It's the Mets nothing. Redbirds stepping up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Marcus Stroman gets the ball for the Mets in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? You know, Matt, he's looking to bounce back for a little bit better of a performance than his last one. Pitched less than five innings in his last one. Was able to come away with a no decision. I think he and his team are expecting a lot more in this one. So here is Ozzie Smith. He'll lead things here off go. here in the Four bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Ozzie Smith. Now here's the pitch. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And they're not going to have a play on him as the catcher just eats it. That is second. No left fielder. Move. Rock. At the plate now, Lou Brock. And Count they pitch out else. here, but nothing's going on. One and one to Brock. One ball, Fellas, one these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran, not going to let the moment get too big for him, completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing hey. lately. That can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy. Right guy, right spot. Good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's that just what hurt. they did right there. The Big right strikeout, field. keep that guy Let off go. the base path. Lee. So now to the plate, Michael Lee. Hey. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Hey. In there, and it's 0 2 now. No ball, good speed strikes. at first, and good speed with a guy at the dish. Gonna be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you gotta get rid of it quick. Here's the 0 and 2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that Attic leadoff goal. single into scoring now, position. Base, yeah, clearly no Mark. problems working out of the stretch Wire. right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Ah. 
In now, Mark Quire. That's a strike to throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Come set, the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good... Well, the side is retired as they make the play. It's on to inning number two now in St. Louis with no score. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Michael Conforto. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball at time. The 1 0 home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Block waits on it. One away. That is it. The left fielder. The St. Zero. Louis Cardinals attack Dominic. you on defense in this fashion. Smith. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five. Fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. Into the box, Dominic Smith. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. The pitch. Down the first baseline. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. One and two Help to Dominic Smith. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. The one-two. Left side, but well fouled. Another 1-2 delivery. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. 2-2 Two -two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full. 3-2. and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. So here's Brandon Nimmo. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Now the pitch. No, that's low. Two out, nobody on. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Batting it. The shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Ready now is Francisco Lindor. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch on its way. Hey. The 0-1. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And it's one, one and two. Two strikes.
Nimmo, the runner at first with two gone. And this will be fouled away. Throw over to first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Mets go down quickly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So now into the box Here is Yadier Molina. Blue. He's set to lead Look off the home half of the Yadier. second. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. The wind up and the 0 1. Softly on the line to third. And there's one down now. That is good. Here's the defensive alignment for the New York Metropolitans. Oh, and I'm going to be locking in today on Brandon Nimmo. This guy brings his lunch pail to work with him, fellas, and he does it with a smile. Watch it permeate to his entire team. This guy lights up a room, and he plays elite defense. You can test the arm a little bit, but he's sure-handed in the outfield. Popped him up. Fernandez has room in foul territory. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting seven, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch on the way. Hit down the line at first. A foul ball here, 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Hey, down 0 2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Drilled on the ground is short. Scooped up. Throw on to Hernandez for the put out, and the inning is over. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Francisco Lindor is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. He pulls this one into right into a slide and he makes a great catch for the first down. Next to hit is Marcus Stroman. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, 
attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later one in the one. game. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball. One and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead and account if you're a pitcher because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. At the plate, Keith Hernandez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Work to walk to open up the ball game. Now the 1 0. Misses, ball two. two ball. No strike. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. Strike taken up in the zone. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Grounded to short. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't now even down. in the zone, and he Number was able six. to fight it off for a base hit. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. Fastball well outside. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Three and oh now. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit and a 3 0 count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. Three and one the count now. Hit in the air out to left. Brock waits on it. And that's the third out. Mets leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Go for the last half of the inning and stand again as the switch hitting second baseman, second baseman Tommy Edmond. Tommy. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Smith comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Batting ninth, the pitcher, Miles Michaelis. So one gone here in the St. Louis third, and into bat next, the pitcher, Miles Michaelis. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He starts him out with a slider for a strike. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. In 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. One out, nobody on. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. High and deep down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 2 2 one more time. I can't lose, Paul. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lays oh, off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Finally. Number Up to one. this point, the entire Good lineup job. have been swinging at Off anything here. close. And this guy decides to show Man. a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with a base on balls. That was a good at bat. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ozzy Smith as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. And for me, this is the side he looks more fluid from. A little more control in his swing, and it seems to lead to more consistent contact than from the right side. First pitch of the AB now. Ball Here's one, a no sinker play. to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. One and no pitch on the way. Yep, Runs outside, so it goes to two and oh now. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Smith is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The left fielder, number 20, Lou Ruff. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And in steps the all-time Cardinal great Lou Brock. He's set and the pitch. Oh. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Smith will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the fourth. And now it will be the catcher, Joe Torrey. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Good pitch there called a strike on the inside corner. Well if you love pitching and defense this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that Dan. Oh you have to love you know Matt we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher school for once. A ball and a strike now. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to now keep his hands inside that piece. ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. To plate now, Robinson Cano. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 0-1. An 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. He pulls this one into right. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. These guys are in perfect position to break through right here and to take the lead. There is without question nothing tougher than back-to-back -back singles. You don't know if they're going to bunt. You don't know. They can do so. They have so many options at their disposal right now. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. A swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And it's one and one. Corey at second. Cano at first with no outs. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Yeah, pretty good take there on the slider down. It's down. ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And a fastball misses there, ball four. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So stepping in is Dominic Smith. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. From the stretch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Curveball yeah. close, but it's 1-1. One and one. So look now the pitch. One and two. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll be a painful run batted in. The center fielder, number 10. Now to the plate, Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. First pitch on the way. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And this is going to play at least two of those runners as it's down for extra bases. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3 nothing game. This thing was a double or now more. The second it left his bat. He really drove it well. And it ended up one hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. That'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco oh, Lindor. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. Ready with the 1 0. Aye. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. The 1-1 home. Nope. 
everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Three runs already home here. All even now, two and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Flipped out the other way towards short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now to bat, Marcus Stroman looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. The 2-0 on the way. Four runs here in this half inning. A little early and now it's even at two and two. From the stretch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Keith Hernandez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defenders standing flat footed for much longer. Two out here and a runner at second. Hey. A ball and two strikes. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. Throw in time and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Mets four and the Cardinals nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward the rookie outfielder Michael Lee. Michael. And now the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto is there and he makes the catch for the out. The first baseman, number 25, Mark McGuire. Next to bat for St. Louis, Mark McGuire grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul.
Here comes the one two. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. The catcher number four. Yadier. Next to stand in is Yadier Molina. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. No runs, just one hit, one error for the Cardinals to this point. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he is in the second with a two out double. So they'll try to make something of this fourth now, inning after all as he's in the second with a two out Tyler. double. And you see there on the lower part oh, of your screen dear. his total places him third best on this Cardinals ball club. So now to the plate Tyler O'Neill as he'll go after a hard oh, sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. We're back at Bush Stadium right after this. Your attention, please. So now a new pitcher is set to go Jordan. here as the right hander Adam Number Wainwright 50. gets the call. Adam. Wainwright. Here's Jeff McNeil. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Number six. Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he misses with it one and one. I got one ball, one strike. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone. And he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. And now here is Joe Torrey. A hit in two tries for him so far. Set. Here it comes. A Inside, ball and no strikes. McNeil on at first. Nobody out. Takes this the other way to right. In there. A base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Dan, this guy's on fire. He used to say all the time, it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. Dino, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Robinson Cano is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. First and second here with nobody out. Fly 
pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Runners hit the corners here with one gun in the inning. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. From the stretch. 1-0. Runners are at first and third, one away. That evens it up, one and one. Conforto behind the ball, ball and two strikes. Two strikes. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try and induce the ground ball to get a double play. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Mets lead this one four to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Way to go. Good stuff, good. Heidi. Thanks. Here's Nolan man. Arenado. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth. Is right. able to oh, break no. through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one? Yeah, no doubt about it. You can tell in between innings, the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line, trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together, maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe nope. get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Ball one to start the at-bat. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Chopper foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Conforto moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting, the second baseman, Tommy Edmund. That brings in Tommy Edmund. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. Ball one, no strike. 50th pitch of the game on its way. That's oh, why 2 and 0. Oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 
And he gets the slider over here. It's 2-1 and one now. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and had hung in the middle of the plate too late for him to pull the trigger. Now the 2-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto is there, and he'll bring this one in. The pitcher, number 50, Adam. Stan Musial is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher Wainwright. Number six, Stan Musial. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well, that's off the plate. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. That's out. Left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base Number hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's okay. given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Ozzie Smith flew out last time up. First pitch on its way. Back outside. That ball two. Two balls, no strike. Two well count the pitch down Ball. low and the plot thickens here three and oh that's where he wants that sinker to end up but that was a nice job of laying off a runner on first with two away three Aye. balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop now a throw over and he'll dive back in safely. The line drive base hit to left field. The left fielder, number 20, Lou. Rock. Into the box now, Lou Brock. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. No hits to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Grounded to the right. Fielded cleanly. On to first. And the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Cards strand a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Young Young Kim takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 33. One yard. Here. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next Mets. it'll be the outfielder, the Dominic field. Smith. Two. Dominic Smith. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll ball. look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. 
Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. The one two. Popped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Next, it'll be Brandon Nimmo. He's one for two in this one. Now the first pitch. And he throws the oh fastball by him here. 0 oh and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, I had him reaching at thin air that oh time, and he's very quickly down 0 oh and 2. Man, I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Here comes the one-two. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's that number two. Now that Francisco Miguel. Now it'll be Francisco Lindor. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. First pitch on its way. Aye. Two out, nobody on. That's the ball. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and one. Fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Francisco Lindor. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. The 2-2. Two -two. Please do. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. He's right there. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Mets go down 1-2-3, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead. Michael he, he flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Get weakly back to the mound. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. And with that, Number we give 25. you a look at what's happening in the NL Look. East race. McGuire. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Mark McGuire. 
Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. One out, nobody on. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. To third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. Runner back safely. At the plate, Yadier Molina. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. McGuire, base runner at first with one out. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. Here's a look over to first. No, he's safe. Let's go. Runner goes. Gets inside the throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a back. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Redbirds down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Seventh inning ready to roll, and set to stand in is the veteran pitcher, Marcus Stroman. Marcus Stroman. Now here's the first offering. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. A ball. ball and a strike. I got a ball, one strike. No now, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Three ball, and one. one strike. Keith Hernandez is on deck. The three one. Takes this the other way to right. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, the but now he's mixing in a base 17. hit late in the game, giving his manager Fernandez. options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. And now, Keith Hernandez. Oh, He'll take a look at ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 
the 1-0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. The 1-1. One, one. Ani pops it up. Arenado into foul territory. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Nope. To two balls ball. and two strikes now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. The batter, number six. Next up, Jeff McNeil. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. He grounds it sharply to third. Arenado's got it to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. They lead it four to nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Tyler O'Neill. Tyler. Now the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now. Oh, 0 and 2. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Ball and he two. lays off it to even the count 2 and 2. Good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike now out there, and it just seems the like we've seen man. so many off no balance way. swings and All weekly hit Otto. balls in this one. Stepping in now, Nolan Arenado. Down the third baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And he sends it out of play. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks 19. really sharp out there, Second guys. Second baseman, Tommy Edmund. At the plate now, Tommy Edmund. As we'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. Too much one dip one. on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Oh, 
grounded back up the middle. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down 4-0. Joe Torre, two hits in three at bats for him in this one. The catcher, number nine, Joe Torre. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swings and sends it in the air out to left center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. Robinson Cano. And so nope. take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Two one. That's ball three. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Fastball too high, ball four. Now batting, the right fielder, Michael. Next to hit, Michael Conforto. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, and the defense is thinking, give it to us again and we'll roll it over all day long. Don't think that's not in his head right now as he steps to the plate. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Two and oh now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in, 2-0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. From the belt, the pitch. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Ready with the 3 1. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. 3 and 2. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. 3 2 pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. O'Neill is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. I'm going to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. Next, here is Dominic Smith. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch on its way. Ball. One oh home. This is pulled into right, and that'll get down for a base hit. They hold it second, and there are two aboard now. The center fielder, number ten, Brandon Nimmo. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. 
Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. Ball one, no strike. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Here comes the one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Two left for the Mets, but they're in front four to nothing. Paul Goldschmidt will try and get his Pinch club back into it here as he'll pinch Number hit to lead off six. the home half of the eighth. Paul Goldschmidt. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. And that misses one and one. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. The one one home. Whoa, that's down. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter, number one, shortstop, Ozzy Smith. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Ozzy Smith singled in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB now. In there, strike one. Third, scooped up, in time to first, and there are two away. Up next to the Cardinals, the left fielder, Lou. Brock. Now to the plate, here is Lou Brock. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Count one and oh. And now pitch on the way. That's Whoa, inside. That's two and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three no, and oh now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And he Watch looks at the ball floor now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of a steal when he's on base. Man, you hate to give up a like two-out walk to anybody, eight. but especially like to a speed ball. demon like him. Mm. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. At the plate now is Michael Lee. He bounced out last time up. First pitch on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. 
great job by the pitcher right there changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that it could work for him. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Cards leave one. They trail here four to nothing. Jordan Hicks enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Jordan. Francisco Lindor will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Leading off with the net. The shortstop. Francisco. Pitch on the way. Lindor. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Smith is there. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now back. The pitch. Marcus Stroman. J.D. Davis steps into the on deck circle now looking to start something Number here with one gone in the inning. J.D. Davis. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Davis, a California born ball player, he was selected in the third round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice hey. ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. One out, nobody on. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Keith Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's one and oh. Fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Popped up. And he's able to get there on the long run. And he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. But they hold a four to nothing lead. Miguel Castro will come out and now take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th Number appearance 50. of the year. Miguel Castro. And now in the box, Mark McGuire. He's going to lead things off Fourth in their Fifth half Fifth. of the ninth as the they try to avoid the dreaded Four. shutout. It's Nick never a good Wire. feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. First pitch on its way. Hits this one hard the other way. Hernandez gathers it in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Final now line there for the pitcher. Mets starting pitcher. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Wow, what a powerful performance. Eight shutout innings in line for the win.
Into the box now. Yadier Molina. And the slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0. 2 1 0. Now a changeup is bounced to second. He's got it. On the first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. Up next to the Cardinals, the seventh field, Tyler O'Neal. Striding in is Tyler O'Neal. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's set and the pitch. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. Ground ball to third. Reined in. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have put an end to their four game slide as this ball game is over. 4 nothing the score tonight. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Marcus Stroman takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Miles Michaelis was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For St. Louis, no runs. Five hits. One error. They left six men on base. The winning pitcher is Marcus Stroman. His record is now two and three. The loss goes to Miles Michaelis. He falls to one and one. Time of the ball game, two hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.